All right, so we're going to go ahead and install WordPress. So you should have logged into your Freehosty account. Once you've logged in, we're going to go to Installer and then down to Applications Installer. And once we go there, we're going to see a list of applications that we can install. Uh, there's a few content management systems here. Drupal is one. Another one is Joomla. And the third one is WordPress. WordPress right now is the number one uh, content management system used. So we're going to go ahead and learn how to do that. And we simply go over here to the install column and hit the, gray, the brown button to go ahead and install it. All right, it's going to ask us what our password is. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use computer. And then I'm going to type it again. And this is so it's easy for us to get in and out. I can promise you no one's going to try to hack your site in the few weeks that we're here on, in class. Uh, later on, if you want to go ahead and change it, that's fine. The title is going to be Trident Tennis. That's all we have to do. Uh, change the password, make sure it matches. Put a uh, web title on there, make sure that your email address is correct. It's going to automatically create a database for us, so we're just going to leave that bubble uh, done. And then it's going to install WordPress 3.92. Now, if you're watching this a year from now, it'll probably be up to uh, WordPress, uh, uh, who knows, uh, 4.5. Uh, but right now we're installing 3.9. Okay, this is the information. I recommend that you select this information here, uh, just these three things, and copy and paste into a notepad file. It'll make it easier for you to log in. And you open up the notepad file and copy and paste this address into the uh, address area up here and then use this username and password to go ahead and log in and, and you can bypass having to log into Freehostia first. So now we're going to go ahead and visit uh, the admin area and it's going to go ahead now and um, install that application and also let us in. Uh, WordPress is a very complex piece of software and it sits on top of our server at Freehostia. Uh, there's lots of parts to it and unfortunately a lot of stuff that we can't get into to mess around with uh, because um, it's all back-end coding. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to change my screen options. So I come up here to where it says screen options and then I uncheck all the boxes except welcome. And that's because I don't need any of this other information. It just mucks up my site. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave all this and just leave my welcome screen and then close my screen options. All right, now the only thing I got is this right here. That's fine, just so I have something when I first log in. Next thing you'll see is that WordPress 4.0 is out. Uh, not much of a difference between 3.92 and 4.0, but I'm sure there's some enhancements. Uh, that's kind of transparent to us, but we'll go ahead and update it now anyway. And again, if this is a future time that you're watching this, it might say 4.5 is available. Uh, you can go ahead and update it since we haven't installed anything yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and install the latest version. It only takes a second. We just tell it to update now, and everything is is all done. On the bottom, it's asking us to uh, update the plugins, and we're not going to use any of those plugins right now, so we don't need to update them. So it's going to take a second, and then uh, congratulations, we will be a proud owner of WordPress 4.0. Uh, it's a constantly evolving piece of software. As bugs come up and as people complain about things, they go ahead and add enhancements to make our life a little bit easier. So bam, we are now 4.0. And the only thing we have to do now is go ahead and uh, log in again. So I'll remember my username and password. And this is the um, WordPress login that you would do if you want to bypass free host here. And I'll log in. Okay, well, except I didn't type my password correct. All right, like it's the second time. And I'm in. So 4.0 is up and running. All right, the only thing we want to do now is we want to get rid of some things. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my post area because this was initially set up as a blogging site. 
uh, it's not used as much anymore uh, for blogging so we can go ahead and get rid of our uh, hello world post and just throw it in the trash so you can see if I mouse over this this uh, opens up and I'll just hit the trash and off it goes All right no more posts uh, the other thing I can do is I can go into the plugins area and look at install plugins uh, there's a couple of plugins. One is Hello Dolly, and this is kind of a worthless um, one. What it does is, as you're in your area editing, uh, the lines from Hello Dolly show up. But why have it? We don't really need it, so we're going to go ahead and delete this and get rid of it. Yes, delete everything. We don't want it anymore. The other plugin you saw, this one here, it's going to, is going to uh, if you had a blog um, and you had comments on it, what's going to happen, you'll see, is that there's uh, automatic bots out there that uh, people will let loose to put ads into your website just by opening from the open comments. And this is going to stop them from doing that. It's going to um, make it more difficult for a bot to be able to see your uh, comment area and also be able to automatically post to it. And so that's a good one if you're going to do a blog, but we're not doing a blog. Uh, so that's all. That's not. We're, gonna, we're not going to mess uh, with that. Um, the next thing we want to do. Let's. Um, if, I'm going to go ahead and right mouse click and move back to um, free hostia, just so you can see what went on. All right, we're back into our free hostia area. If I go to uh, uh, database and go to MySQL database. This is the MySQL database that was created when we created the WordPress site. It uses part of your um, username in order to be able to do that. Uh, the other thing we can do is go into Files and File Manager, and we can see that a lot of stuff has been installed. So excuse my extra folders here, but if I go into this folder here, I have a WordPress folder. When I go into that, I have extra folders and I have all these files and you can see they all have an, extent, um, an extension of PHP. These are programming files that someone has written lots of code in order to make your website work. Uh, and inside each of these folders there is uh, more content, more folders, more everything. And this is what makes your website really great. You might be asking why use WordPress? Well, the, at the end of the class when you turn over your website to your user, uh, you don't want to have to mess with them anymore and we're going to set up an area so that or log in so they can log in and add delete and modify pages but not hose up anything else on our website and that's going to be their ability their chance to go ahead and take control of their website without us having to mess with it uh, nothing's worse as a web developer to getting a call at three o'clock in the morning because someone wants to change a comma to a period and they want you to do it now well now they can do it all themselves uh, by using that login all right, so that ends our uh, WordPress installation video.